Hi there, welcome back to Speak Up for Blue TV, where you get the latest, greatest, and not so greatest ocean news happening around the world today. And you get my take on it. And if you don't already know, my name is Andrew Lewin. I'm founder of a website called speakupforblue.com, where we support the ocean conservation movement through education, awareness, and action. Welcome to the Thursday show. I've got a really great story for you today. And it's really positive. And if you, you've probably already seen it on YouTube or some other news network, but last week, there were about 30 dolphins that washed up ashore stranded on, a, on, stranded on a beach in Brazil, only to be saved by beachgoers and other tourists. The entire event was filmed by some people on the beach, uploaded to YouTube, and picked up by numerous news agencies around the world. And that right now, the YouTube video has about over 3.2 million views. In other words, it's gone viral, which is not surprising because of the way this event went down. If you don't know what, how it went down, check out this quick clip of the YouTube video and we'll talk about it in a, bit, in a sec. So as you can see, the dolphins came out of nowhere. You know, they stranded in front, and they got stranded right in front of about 30 or 40 people and whoever else was on the beach at the time. And it, you know, you see from the clip like one or two people just kind of assess the situation as they kind of come in as the dolphins are stranded and they really act quickly. You know, those two, one or two people just kind of grab a dolphin by the tail and start dragging it gently out to the beach so it can swim away. I mean, who would have thought? And then other people, you know, started to catch on and they started to, you know, get in the water and take the take the dolphins back out into the from the beach and into the water. You know, <laughs> these people are heroes in my book, especially I'm not sure if you saw, but especially the guy who at the beginning of the video is standing beside his wife in a white T-shirt and what looks to be shorts or a bathing suit of some sort. You know, he gets, he's an older gentleman, he gets involved, he starts to look, he starts to whine to help, so he takes his watch off, that's fine, he takes his sh shirt off, that's great, and then he's got his, just his, what looks like his bathing suit on, but no, 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 he takes off his bathing suit, or shorts, and reveals that he has a nice Speedo on, and if you see the man, he's not really a kind of guy you'd want to see in a Speedo, if you ever want to see a guy in a Speedo, for me, no, I don't really want to do it, but who cares, this guy actually got into the water and helped drag these, you know, poor dolphins out to sea, and, you know, and it was just, it was amazing, because the whole event took place, I mean, the video was start to finish of the whole event, the 30 dolphins were saved in under 3 minutes and 45 seconds. I mean, that's got to be a record, I'm sure. And, you know, dolphins and other cetaceans like whales and, and seals and stuff, or sorry, and other cetaceans like whales, not, not seals, but other cetaceans like whales are known to strand themselves every once in a while. But scientists still don't know what the reason, why they, why they actually strand themselves. And some say it's because animals, you know, are old and they come, they can't swim as 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 well, and they just kind of wash up ashore and they tend to die. Others say it's because of underwater noise that happens from seismic uh, activity and other things, where the dolphins or whales or who or whatever kind of you know cetacean kind of comes up, swims up too fast to the surface because it's an escape response or trying to get away from the noise, uh, but they don't they don't think about the pressure change as you go up and if you're a diver you know about pressure change I'm not going to go into it too much but essentially you if you rise too high or too fast you can get what's called the bends and actually die from the bends and that's what happens sometimes what's in theory what's what's said to happen to dolphins and whales and so on from this underwater noise and then there's another reason people say just because of water quality and poor water quality where animals um, are either sick because they've they've been exposed to water that's that's high in metals, or they've eaten fish that are high in metals and accumulate mercury or other kind of arsenic or other kind of metals that eventually, if there's enough of it in your body, will actually kill you, kind of like it it would kill us. So for what regardless of the reason that it happens, there's nothing worse than seeing, you know, a pod of marine whales just kind of wash up ashore. And, and die because nobody there, nobody's there to rescue them. 
And that's why, you know, these people in the videos are heroes. They're not marine scientists. They're not veterinarians. They just reacted to a situation that happened, and they actually ended up being a positive one. They saved these dolphins. Now, I don't know if they did the right thing of actually pulling them together, but people like this that actually act on it and just try and help out the ocean, you know, and, and mammals of the ocean and animals of the ocean are heroes in my book. And there are also in, like numerous organizations scattered all around the world that dedicate part of their lives or all of their lives to monitoring the coast for these stranded mammals. You know, for instance, last summer I actually interviewed um, a, a volunteer coordinator from the British Divers Marine Life Rescue, which the link is down. The interview to the link, but the link to the interview is down in the description below. Um, but they, you know, what they this this British Divers Marine Life Rescue is a volunteer organization that's scattered around the UK, where they monitor the coast for marine mammal strandings and they react. They're trained as rescuers to react to to um, strandings and they're just regular average Joe people you know blue collar white collar doesn't matter these guys are actually out there they want to help the whales and it doesn't matter who they are they're trained and they actually go and do it which brings me to the question of the day have you ever worked with one of these marine mammal rescue organizations in your city or in your town local to you if you have let me know in the comments below um, so that we can let the people who haven't um, you know let them know what organization you actually worked with um, or continue to work with or if you know of an organization that does this kind of stuff let me know send me a website uh, you can you can let me know in the comments below or you can just send me send it to me through the contact link that I have below in the description as well so that you we can what I want to do is actually put a resource page together so that everybody can see it and they can contact their local agencies or their local organizations so that they can become a part of this volunteer network and they can actually help rescue marine mammals. So that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. I know I did. Remember to keep sharing these this these videos your friends, your family, your network, your social networks. Um, we want to make as many people aware as possible. Send me those links and those organizations so that we can put this resource together on speakupforblue.com. Um, and until next time, my name is Andrew Lewin, founder of speakupforblue.com. Happy conservation. I will see you on Saturday for the next episode.